Hi everyone, Rebecca the Frugal Resinista here, um, coming to you today from my kitchen instead of my art space um, with a little fun science experiment to show you guys. I am going to be making my own crystals that I use in my resin geodes out of some borax, um, some boiling water, food coloring, and some white pipe cleaners. So I have jars here and I already put my food coloring in and the ones I wanted. This one's going to be just a white geode kind of look so I don't need any in that one but um, I'm going to show you how I do one of these. The other ones are already prepped. What you do is you take pipe cleaners and just put them into whatever shape you're going for and um, the crystals are going to grow around those. Borax is a multi-purpose household cleaner that you can make detergent out of, you can make dish soap out of. So all of this is non-toxic. You can use gloves if you want just so you don't get food coloring on yourself, but um, I've already done this yesterday and have food coloring on me so I'm not too worried about it. When it's finished, this will be hopefully uh, the idea of what our geode looks like. I finished this one off. I have another video um, detailing how I finished this geode because this is just meant to be decorative sitting on my dresser or something, but um, we're going to make some that can go into our resin geodes. So here we go. I am taking a couple of pipe cleaners and twisting them just into a random design, but making sure they really um, overlap each other in spaces so that the crystals have a lot of little spots to grow together on. I am going to then, after this is done, hang it down in, make sure I've got the right size and of string, and then I am going to boil water, pour the boiling water into each of these jars, and then put borax in um, a spoonful at a time and stir until there's so much borax in the water that no more will stir in and it starts to sit at the bottom. That's how you know you have enough. So um, we're going to move fast through this one because you don't need to hear me talking a lot about it. You've heard what I'm going to do and um, we will just go from there. We are going to wait at least eight hours and then see how these are looking. I'm back. It is the next day. At the eight hour mark, I checked these and I didn't quite like how many crystals they had grown. Um, it looked like it was slowing down. So what I did was I took each of these out. I t tapped them off with a little bit of water, put a few more scoops of borax in and um, got them back to boiling in the microwave and then put everything back in. So it's been a good 24 hours. I actually just checked one of these to see um, how it was coming and they're getting wide enough that I'm not sure they're going to come out of here very well. So I need to get them out quickly. Um, so let me just show you how everything worked. Because there's lots of food coloring, I'm going to try to make as little mess as possible. Oop, yep, this is the one I checked. There we go. They turned out pretty cool. I think the clear one is completely stuck, so I'm going to do that last, and if I can't get it easily, I'll just do it off camera. I am wearing gloves this time because these are covered in food coloring, and I don't want to super stain myself. Oh, that one turned out great. All right. Bring this over here. Goodness, these turned out wonderfully. Now this is a weird shape on purpose because I have a geode plan that I'm going to use it for. Um, I'm going to try a tiny bit with this clear, but I'm not going to waste too much time on it because I think it's stuck in there pretty well and I might have to crack it a little get it out, which is kind of a bummer. 
So we'll see. The good thing is if I do crack it, I can still use all the pieces in my geode. It just won't be a solid one. Yeah, I'll have to get out and crack it. That's fine. Um, so let me show you guys a little bit of a close up here. So these made some awesome big crystals. Um, what's nice with the borax is that they're super sparkly. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm just wiping off in between so I don't get colors on everything. That one's a thick one too. They're really thick and fat. Big crystals, they look great. Now this one has a couple holes, but I'm not worried about that because I'll add little bits of like um, glass or some kind of sparkles or something. And so it'll fill it in. But there's that one. This is my favorite of the colors. I think the color turned out really nice. I think I did a two to one ratio of two blue to one yellow for that. All right. So just a couple things before I end this video. If you have not tried this and you want to try it just to save you some time with troubleshooting, um, I brought some old geodes back out, or sorry, old crystals back out that I haven't ever used because they didn't work right. So I'm going to tell you what I did wrong so that you can avoid that. Um, this first one, now this was on a sparkly pipe cleaner, but I don't know how well you can see in the video, but if you look closely, there are big crystals on it, but it didn't cover all the way. Now with this one, I had used some of my aluminum foil to cover the jar, and so the water was not able to evaporate enough. So there was a lot of borax trying to attach, but there was too much water, so it didn't get full coverage. And then the other one that my kids like to call the unicorn poop <laughs> is this one and you can see this one fully was covered but I um I have to think about oh I didn't add enough borax so it started to grow really well all the way around this and this is coated but the crystal stayed tiny because the borax ran out part way through so those are just a couple things that you'll notice now this isn't terrible honestly I could break this apart and still use it um but it's not going to give me a big solid chunk like these so i hope you guys learned something from this these are super fun to make they're super sparkly um and they're really pretty to put in the center of your geodes whether you do them like this which i might because these have some huge chunks in them um or you can break them apart um or i think my last video maybe number 27 um, I show how to finish one of these so that it's its own decorative piece just to sit on your mantle. Okay, I was able to get my last crystal out. It is gigantic. I am super excited about it. I'm going to be able to use that in a really big piece in some of these spots where there's not um, hole ones there. I can either use this as one chunk and add some glass in there. I could break that part apart. So I super love it. Um, one last tip is that Borax crystals are um, still able to break down if they're exposed to water for very long. So what you're gonna wanna do is let them dry and then just coat them with something unless you're sticking them into your resin right away. So I use this clear acrylic high gloss coating that is water resistant. And um, when these are dry, I'm just gonna give them a quick spray on both sides. And then I don't have a time limit on how fast I have to use them in my resins. I can use them whenever I'm ready. So. Um, that is my tutorial. These are fun to use in your actual um, resin geos or just fun to make with kids or however you wanna do them. So don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And um, I'm now on Facebook and on Instagram as the Frugal Resinista. And I thank you guys so much for sticking through this video and watching. Have a good day.